Yeah, well, my first year on tour it was it was pretty nerve-wracking, and I think when you first get on tour, you don't you don't really feel like you belong there, and everyone you surf against are kind of your heroes. So but you go out you go out for a heat, and you're like, well, this guy's the best surfer in the world, so he should be beating me. And then I guess the more you feel like you deserve it, and the more the more confidence you get. At Snapper, I was I started I was kind of nervous because I hadn't done a comp for a while, and. I went out and I think my first heat I got some eights and nines or something and I was like, yes, the judges are scoring me and my serving must be on point. So I definitely got a lot of confidence from that. Beating people is fun and losing is not fun. Free surfs, I, I pretty much always go left. I have more fun surfing on my forehand. I guess that's pretty much everyone does, but um, I just go right in heats because I get bigger scores. I'm feeling pretty confident I had had that big result at Chopes and then the last two events I didn't I didn't do too good but all of my heats have been fairly solid so I feel like I've, I've my surfing's good and I've got really good boards right now and um, I don't know hopefully we get some good waves and I can make some some semis or finals or something. I definitely want to make at least the top 10 this year and then kind of knuckle down next year and hopefully get top five. I think the pressure is always in the back of your mind, whether whether you try to think about it or not. Like you know, you know what you need to do, and it's pretty crazy to see Owen right now. He's been in the last three finals, and it kind of just makes you realise that if you kind of knuckle down, and if I work on my consistency and stuff, I, I think I can be right there. San Fran's going to be pretty cool. We went, I went up there a few weeks ago and checked out the city, and there's a, like a really cool vibe up there, and everyone's kind of psyched on surfing, but. There's never really been a big event there, so so I think there's going to be a lot, a bunch more kind of followers of the, the world tour, and it's really going to push surfing. And I think New York and San Francisco is is kind of getting surfing into a new kind of demographic. There's going to be a, hundreds of thousands of kind of more followers and more fans of surfing. My